Hello and welcome to episode 30 of my Working Into Doist series. In this episode I want to take you through uh, a typical day on how we should be using Todoist because when I look at some of the comments and when I read some of the uh, other and watch some of the other videos on Todoist and other productivity tools I get the feeling that many people are putting their productivity tool, whether it's Todoist, OmniFocus, Wunderlist, or <clears throat> uh, Buy the Milk, whatever, the, whatever productivity tool you're using, I get the feeling that many people are putting it front and center, which actually is the big mistake and what you really, how you really shouldn't be using your productivity tools. So. I thought I would just put together a little chart to show you how you should be using Todoist throughout a day so that you get a feel of how Todoist really should be working for you. So let's look at a typical day, and th this is a really basic chart. Um, if we start with like the beginning of the day, the middle of the day, and the end of the day, um, what we should be doing is First thing in the morning, of course, we should have a quick look at Todoist, see what's on our list, see what uh, priorities we've given ourselves, so we don't even have to sit down and think about it. We just have a quick scan at our list, and if you're using the flags of priorities correctly, or if you're certainly using the flags and priorities in the way that I do, then you'll have a pretty good idea of what you're going to have to get done first thing in the morning. Uh, if you assign things a priority one flag, and those are the absolutely must-do tasks for today then they're going to be right at the very top of your list. It sets your morning off perfectly. You're drinking your cup of coffee. You don't even have to think about or even make a decision about what you have to do today because that decision has already been made. It's there on your list. Um, then perhaps you should take another quick look at your Todoist list uh, at lunchtime in the middle of the day. See how you're progressing. What pro uh, what tasks have you completed? Tick them off, get rid of them, and look at what you have to do for the remaining day. You may want to reschedule a few things. That's okay, but it's just a quick look. It should not be a full-on review. It should just be a quick look. What have I got to do this afternoon? And then in between all these, what you need to be doing is working on your focused work, the work that you've assigned yourself to do that day. Now, I break my day up into two. Actually, I break my day up into three. I have a different kind of work schedule to a typical work schedule. So I do quite a bit of work in the evening and the afternoons are for my exercise and other relaxation things. <clears throat> but for a typical worker who has to go to the office nine till five or whatever, then your focused work should be focused work. You shouldn't be in and out of Todoist all day because that's just wasting time. Todoist there should be helping you, not slowing you down. So if you're using Todoist correctly or any other productivity tool, then really you need a quick look in the morning, a quick look at lunchtime, and then at the end of the day, you do the mini review. Now, throughout the day, of course, you're going to be collecting things. You're going to be collecting uh, other tasks to be done, other jobs that's been sent to you. You may have had an idea. You may think, oh, I've got to make an appointment with my mates to go out for a beer this weekend. Whatever it is, you can just grab them and add them into your inbox as and when they come up. But one of the things, if you're using Todoist correctly, then really Todoist should be working in the background, just throughout the day collecting your thoughts, your ideas and commitments. It should not be in the foreground. You shouldn't be tinkering with Todoist or Wunderlist or OmniFocus or Things or whatever productivity tool you're using. During the day, that's when you're working, or nighttime if you're a night worker, but you should be into the focused work. Todoist or any other productivity tool is there to help you to know what you should be doing when you should be doing it. It shouldn't be something that's right there in front of you throughout the day. Throughout the day or throughout your working time, that's when you should be working. Uh, Todoist is a collection tool when you're working. It's just collecting your thoughts, your ideas and your commitments. Remember, don't allow Todoist to become the center part of your working day. It's almost like, as we say, an aid memoir, so that you don't have to be making decisions about what you should and shouldn't be doing. It's a good place. And of course, there are going to be occasions when you suddenly have that mental block thinking, oh dear, what should I be up to? Fine, have a quick scan. But it is 
only that, a quick scan of your list of things to do today. If you've got two, three or four things on as a priority for the day, get them done. Get them done early uh, is always my advice because you don't, in the afternoon your brain's getting a bit tired. So let me show you how I'm doing this in Todoist. I've shown this in many videos before, but because I want to show you a little bit of how I'm using Todoist. So let's go into Todoist and I'll show you how I'm doing it. Okay, as you can see in my Todoist, uh, I've, it's getting on for one thirty in the afternoon and I've got most of my tasks done for today. But the way I would do this is first thing in the morning, and as, as I mentioned in my filters uh, video, and I'll put a link to that in the in, in the notes underneath is in the morning I would just generally go to my AM tasks and have a look and see what do I have to do in the morning that's all I do in the morning I have a quick scan um, all my priority one tasks are in my uh, AM filter so I can see what are my absolute goals that need to be done for that day um, then when it gets to lunchtime I switch over to my PM tasks and I can see what I have to get done in the afternoon but that's it. I don't need to be in and out of Todoist all day because I have a pretty clear picture of what I want to achieve for that day. Once I get to the evening time, I can switch to my main view because I always do this in the evening on my computer, whether it's my laptop or my desktop. And I can just go into my um, default view, which is my inbox uh, at the top. And as you can see up here, um, the code for that filter is P p colon inbox comma overdue and today but this would have a list of i mean on a typical day for me i would probably have 10 to 15 inbox items to process uh, at the end of the day and i would have my uh admin ta general admin tasks that i need to get done throughout the final part of the day and that's it so Throughout the day, I probably enter go into Todoist maybe four times maximum throughout the day. Uh, the only days that's different is Sunday because that's when I do my weekly review. And then I would spend a lot longer in Todoist because I want to make sure everything's ready for the following week, clean up any projects. Uh, as you know, I have a rule where I don't like to have any more than three active project, projects at one time. And occasionally I've dropped a project into an active project list and I just move one out. Um, but that's done on a Sunday. But the rest of the time, I probably go into OmniFocus maybe three, four times a day. And to make sure that I'm on target for the things that I really want to do. And that's it. So really, uh, a quick review. Todoist throughout the day should be working in the background. It should never be in the foreground of your working day. There is an exception to that, which I'm going to show you in the next episode. Um... Um, because there are occasionally there will be uh, exceptions to that. But generally speaking, Todoist is a background tool. It's just your capturing tool. And then when you have more time at the end of a day, for example, when you do your mini review, you should then you can then spend more time in Todoist and uh, do your processing. And that's it. Anyway, I hope this episode has been useful for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you to all my subscribers. This week I went over 200 subscribers, so I'm really blown away with that. Thanks very much, guys. And thank you also for uh, giving me this opportunity to helping you out with this amazing application, Todoist. So, until next episode... Have a great week and see you again soon.